All right, now let's have a look at object segmentation by intensity thresholding. Now segmentation is a process of identifying objects of interest in an image. This is the first step of any image analysis pipeline. And since we are mostly concerned with biological images here, the objects of interest will be cells or cellular components such as nuclei or actin filaments. The desired output of a segmentation algorithm is called a mask. So we have an image from the microscope that typically has a data type of unsigned 16-bit integer. And what we want to do is to create a mask, which is a logical array that has the same size as the original image, but has a data type of logical. And the elements of the mask will tell us which pixels in the original image correspond to the cell and which correspond to the background. Now the pixels that we're interested in identifying are the pixels within the cell, and these are often called the foreground pixels. And the pixels that we want to exclude are the background pixels. So in our mask, we want the foreground to be labeled as true and the background to be labeled as false. Now the approach that we're going to use is called intensity thresholding. The general approach is very simple. We will choose a threshold intensity and then identify pixels in the image that are greater than or less than this threshold value. Now this second step will be carried out using the logical operations that we covered in the last video. All right, let's switch over to MATLAB. The example image I'm going to use today is called cardiocell.tiff, which is an image of a cardiomyocyte or heart cell. As you might remember from last week, we can use the imread function to read in the image. And then we can use imshow to display it. Now I'm going to dock this image so we can see it while working in MATLAB. Now to begin with, I'm going to pick a threshold intensity by using the data tip tool. I'm going to click on the data tip button in the toolbar and just scan this tooltip around. Doing so, we can get a rough idea of what the average value in the cell is. And it seems to be pretty high. So the lowest values I can see are around 12,000. And if we look at the background, we can see that the background values are much, much lower than that. It is maybe on the order of 900. Okay, so going back to the command window, I can create a mask by simply using the greater than operator. Let's call this variable mask equals i greater than 12,000. And this value of 12,000 here is called the threshold intensity. And so now if I display the mask, you can see that I have done a decent job of picking that first uh, threshold intensity. However, I've missed a few pixels in the middle of the cell, which were dim. And so in this case, let's adjust the intensity, the threshold intensity a little bit. And I'm going to bring this down to 10,000 so that we would include more of the dark pixels. And let's display our new mask. And that looks pretty good. And so there may be a little bit of trial and error, but you can generally settle on an intensity value that looks about right. Okay, so this is a quantitative optical imaging class. So let's try to find a slightly more quantitative approach to identifying a threshold intensity. Now we can use the function improfile to create an interactive tool to measure intensities in the image. So here are the basic steps of using improfile. First, you have to display an image using imshow and you have to leave this figure window open. Step two, in the command window, type in I am profile. Now, when you hover over the figure window, you will see that the mouse cursor changes into a crosshair. In step three, click on the start point where you want to start the profile. Step four, click to select the next point. Finally, when you're done selecting the line over which you want to measure the intensity profile, press enter. MATLAB will now pop up a new window showing you the intensity or the pixel values along the line that you drew. Now looking at this intensity profile, hopefully it's clear to you that the low values here 
are the background. And all the high pixel values in this region are the cell. And so we could probably pick an intensity threshold around this range of values here and get a pretty decent mask. So in our example, we picked a value of 10,000 and you can see that that is below the intensity of any pixels in the cell. All right, now that we have a mask, let's have a look to see how we could visualize this in our original. All right, now that we have our mask, let's have a look at how we would visualize this along with our original image. The first function that we're going to use is BW perim. And this creates a logical matrix containing the perimeter of the true regions of the input mask L. To share with you what I mean, let's go back to MATLAB and run BW equals BW perim mask. Now, if I display what this image is, you can see that it contains just the perimeter of the object. Now, to display both the original image and this perimeter image, we're going to use the function imShowPair. This function takes in two input arguments, A and B, which should have the same size. The first input argument, which is the matrix A, will be displayed as a green image, and the second input argument, the matrix B will be displayed in magenta. Let's switch back to MATLAB to try this out. So let's type in I am show pair I comma BW. And you can see that in this image, we have the cell shown in green and the perimeter mask shown in magenta. And so this is how you would validate the mask is by zooming in to this image and checking to make sure that the outline in magenta fits the outline of the cell. And at this point in time, the gold standard for validating images in biology is still by eye. All right, so if you think about the intensity thresholding algorithm, we have made an assumption that the foreground pixels have intensities that are distinguishable from the background. And if you're taking these pictures yourself, as a good rule of thumb, the foreground pixels should be at least twice as bright or twice as dark as the background. 